show come in. This is Antique Demonstrations, and I'm your host, Hammer Time Rods. I've been buying and selling antiques for over 50 years, so I know a lot of things because I've seen a lot of things. I'm going to take you back to the 1800s and early 1900s where farmers' lives were made so much easier with the new inventions in those days. Welcome back, y'all. Got you some good stuff here today. This is one of my favorites right here. You know everything's one of my favorites. You know that. This is a Acme ice cream freezer. Five Minute Ice Cream, Acme Can Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Don't you love it when somebody says USA? I love it. Most everything you're going to see me show is USA. I like this thing because most ice cream freezers, as you all have seen, cranks from the side. They're a lot bigger than this. They crank from the side, and which ain't no difference, but this one cranks this way. I mean, this is, I thought this was neat, and you know me, if it's rare, I'm going to buy it if I can afford it. So I bought this thing years ago, and uh, I did, and it's all there, all complete. Now I want to show you something here. Well, all, this comes out. This slips up, and look at this lid. Let me get it to where you can read it. Read that lid. Ain't that cool? Tells you all about it. Now, it's all here, everything is here. Look down in there. So this is a nice little ice cream freezer right here. Now, what I'm thinking, we ought to just make us a little batch of ice cream. What do y'all think? So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm, I happen to have stuff right here to make a batch of ice cream. So I'm gonna pour us a little, little bit of milk in here. Lord, this is gonna be some good stuff. See that good buttered milk? That's good milk. We don't make too much. And then, I tell you what, let's do. Remember that last week when I showed you that cherry cedar? Well, I saved a few black cherries, so let's make black cherry ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah, that's going to be good right there. Let me tell you, black cherry ice cream. Check out that little air right there. Get close up on that. Little air. So so back in the day, people might not have known which way to turn it. But then they do. All right. Now, to make ice cream, you got to have a little bit of ice. Okay? So we're going to put some ice in here, y'all. Let's put a little ice in there. Lord, yeah, that's going to be good. That, that ought to be enough to make a batch. Now, we got to have a little salt. All right, that's salt. Here's the way my grandma used to do it. She'd pinch that salt in there and knock that right there, but I think that's enough, don't y'all, to make a batch of ice cream. But anyway, after you do that, check this out now. It says five minutes, so... I'm going to crank this thing five minutes and we're going to see what turns out here. Let's see what we got. Man, I'm telling you right now, I hope this thing worked. Five minutes. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It don't get no better than that. Put the cone on it and everything. How about them apples? Mmm. And it's black cherry. Look at them black cherries in there, y'all. If you're going to buy one of these, I'd say 100 bucks or to buy this because the reason I wanted it so bad is the top crank, and I'd never seen a top crank before that cranks round and round. The old ones was just like that. Look at this. I know you know what this is. It's oil lamp. And this is the light they used back in the 1800s. I mean, all the way back thousand years was oil lamps but this is a glass oil lamp it's called a peanut lamp you see the little sides there it looks like a peanut 
these things are very valuable because peanut lamps were so highly sought after because they was rare. So I happened to have three or four of them and I just got this one out to show you. And uh, that's how they lit their homes up back in the day. And uh, let me do this. Let's light this baby up. Now, we got it. Draw her down a little bit. I'm gonna show you, this lamp ain't what I'm featuring, but you're gonna not believe what I'm featuring. This is a moth guard. It goes on here just like this. And the purpose is to keep moths and flies out of your lamp from catching on fire and stinking up the house. I remember this. My grandma told me years ago, she said, Roger said, I can remember when I was a little girl, we'd walk around in the house and we could see the chickens through the cracks of the floor walking under the house. So you know the bugs and stuff got in them houses back then. So anyway, when you did use one of these, this would keep the moths and bugs out of it and it wouldn't stink your house up. If you can find one of these, if you can get it for 75 bucks, you're lucky. Solid brass. Back when people chewed tobacco, this was a tobacco plug cutter. It used to come in plugs. It would be a little pack, a little pack like that, about that thick, and this was used to cut it off. This is an Enterprise. You can see on this side, it's Enterprise. And they used to make these things really good. It's solid cast iron. They'd, they'd trim the writing in gold so you could read it good. But um, anyway, the way it worked is you'd get your plug tobacco. Look at here. Blood ham. You ever heard of blood ham? This come from Brown Rogers, Brown Williams tobacco. If you notice the box, 12 to 10, this is 1910, and this tobacco was called Bloodhound. Well, I went everywhere trying to find a Bloodhound tobacco or any kind that was a plug. And look at here what I found. <laughs> I found this, and look what kind that is. Bloodhound, can you believe I found that? But anyway, I was tickled to death to find it. So I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Yeah. Now you used to could buy this hole like this, it was 10 cents. Or if you didn't have much money in the 1800s, uh, you could buy a penny cut or a two penny cut. And I'm gonna show you how they done it. Look at this. You see right here, that says one inch, and this says two inches. You raise this baby up, you say, I want a penny cut of bloodhound. You put that baby in there, put it right there, and you drop it down, and you cut it, there's your penny cut. Ain't that awesome? Now next guy comes in, yeah, I want a, a two cent cut. He didn't have a dime, so here's what he'd do. He'd put that right there, drop that thing down. Well, that'd be about a two cent cut. Cause, but anyway, you see, there's a two cent cut, there's a one cent cut. You can mix it up. I think that's amazing because back in the days, that's just the way we work. You get a penny's worth, two pennies worth, or 10 cent worth. This baby right here, 75 to 100 bucks. 75 to 100 dollars. Folks, what we got right here, look at that name on there, King Cutter. And you know what this is? It's a French bean cutter. King Cutter French bean. Cuts French beans. I'm gonna show you how this baby works. Well, you look on the back of it back here, there's where you put your beans in, right there. And they go in at an angle, which cuts them, the beans at an angle, which makes French beans. So, let me let me do this. We're gonna demonstrate this, baby. Look at I got them in my lap. And we got this little nice Coca-Cola change tray that's really, really old. I got my bean here. I'm gonna turn it around to the side so you see how it works. Right here's my little tray to catch my beans. Put it right in there, grind that baby up, grind that bean, let's see if we can put another one in there. 
All right, you ready? Yeah, beans going everywhere down there. They ain't even in the tray, but look, but look how it cuts. See how it cuts them? Cuts them in an angle. You got to get a bigger tray, but it cuts them in an angle. That's called your French bean cut. But ain't that a cool little machine? Keen cutter. And I, it's really wobbly because it's so old. This is uh, probably late 1800s. And uh, I got to tell you, by it being keen cutter, this is worth $150, $175 because it's keen cutter. Keen cutter made a lot of stuff, but I've never seen a French bean cutter. So you know me, if I ain't ever seen one, I'm going to buy it if I can. Folks, thanks for watching Antique Demonstrations. And don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe.